Under a proposal championed by Governor Andrew Cuomo, New York would become the first state in the nation to mandate a minimum wage of $15 per hour. That's more than double the federal minimum wage. A new study says a $15 minimum wage will ultimately cost New York State at least 200,000 jobs. New York just can't handle these kind of job losses. And the problems don't stop there. Just ask our farmers. Well, we know, we know for any farm, you know, that it's going to raise the cost of food. I mean, it has to. We're looking at a situation where we would probably be forced to increase food prices 25 to 50 percent. One might argue that, like, well, pass that on the consumer. We're all going to stand the pain and increase your prices. Unfortunately, New York would be an island. I'm not sure how we're going to be able to compete, but when our labor costs are double what they are in Ohio, Ohio milk becomes a whole lot more competitive in the New York City marketplace. Normally we aren't the price setters, we're the price takers. Um, is Price Chopper going to want to double the amount that they pay for produce? Um, are people going to want to buy it at, the, at that rate? If something sounds too good to be true, it probably is. I've always argued in the past, labor for us the, wasn't the cost, it was the availability. Well, now it's going to be both. This sort of an increase isn't just like another little thorn in your side or another little expense you've got to deal with. This would put some farms out of business, for sure. Higher pay? More like fewer jobs. Every year it's new regulations. Every new year it's new red tape. It's going to be an absolute nightmare for us. We're, we're not sure that we could even continue with that. Get the rest of the story and learn how you can help at empirecenter.org slash minwage.